Okay, and now say hello to our showbiz expert, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Peter Ford. A very big day for you yesterday, I'm told. Yes, with Dame Shown Sutherland. What a great star she's been for so many years now. And now she's talking about retirement, which is very sad because her voice is in fine form. And in fact, I asked her about that yesterday. just enjoyed life for myself instead of it's, it's a terrible responsibility you know I mean I get a great big build up look at you all here um, and I'm supposed to deliver the goods on Saturday no matter what my age is or how I feel <laughs> I think I've had a wonderful career and a very long one and um, I think it's time that I just uh, sat back and let others get on with it how will you fill your days oh I find plenty to do my goodness me I, I the days are too short as, the, as it is now, and um, I'll find plenty to do, don't you worry. Dame Joan, tell me about your grandchildren. Well, they're terrific. I've, I've just seen them in Sydney, and um, coming on very nicely. Natasha's six, and Vanya is four, and um, having a nice with, visit with them after I leave Melbourne, and hopefully they're coming over to us for Christmas in Europe. I think they're looking forward to learning to ski. <laughs> I think Natasha might apply herself. I'm not so sure about Vanya. He's a little, bit, a little bit boisterous. Which venue will you miss performing in most? Did you have a favourite venue? Uh, well, of course, Covent Garden was where I began, and I, I, I loved that theatre. Um, I think the, the Fenice, I think I, I, I preferred all the older theatres. Though some of the modern ones have splendid acoustics, some of the, the latter day ones. Um, I don't know. I, I, I think probably Covent Garden. Dame Joan, do you think it's true that any performer is only as good as their last performance? Um, no, I don't think about success being important, frankly. Um, I think you sing with, or you perform with whatever ability you have on any given occasion, and sometimes everything gels and, and goes well, goes better than you expect, and other times no matter what you do, it doesn't seem to have quite the same um, charisma or the same, same um, force about it. Um, I think performances are different every night, but I don't think that you always have that much control over, over how they go. And when the performance is really fantastic, when you say, well, it wasn't too bad tonight, but there's next Tuesday or whenever it happens to be. <laughs> Now, Dame Joan, as you know through watching the show, Bert sort of sees himself as a cross between Perry Como and Pavarotti, I guess. Actually, a couple of weeks ago on the show, this is what happened. Well, as you can see, he has a secret ambition to be an opera singer. What would your message be to him? Well, Bert, I've heard about your ambition to sing with me. All I can say is, you'd better hurry. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> dear. Well, I, I know it would be a thrill to sing the same time, but I am very happy with Rita because she and I just seem to hit it off together. We've got, the, we've got that magic rapport that good operatic artists have to have, you know what I mean? Absolutely. Well, Saturday night could be your last chance in Melbourne because they're saying it's her last Melbourne concert. Good on you, Peter. I might mention to you that Dame Joan won't do live television, will she? That's the reason why Peter went to the press conference to get that excellent report. No, she doesn't do live What's television. What's the reason, do you know? I don't know. I think she's done one or two over the years, but not very, very often at all. Great star, one of our best. And thank you, Peter, and we'll see you again tomorrow. Sure will. Peter Ford on Showbiz. We're back with you after this break.